the same people who made Majesty, so you know it's a good game. Gotta give the same entry, you know? New World Computing. Developed by Traveler's Tale. Heroes of Might and Magic 2. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> All other trademarks belong to their respective holders. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And of course, we have to start off with the tutorial. And just like Ham One, it has no introduction. <laughs> <clears throat> Look at that background to show the carnage of Ham One. <laughs> Gotta listen to the music, of course. Hey, Tap Dancing Ninja. You don't need no introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Tutorial. The knight has a barbarian and a warlock trapped on the peninsula. Victory conditions. <clears throat> Defeat all enemy towns and capture all enemy towns and castles. Heroes and can do all that, yeah. Never actually played this one. You know what you need? The Grail. Oh, Craig has some music right here. <laughs> hey, Sark. Three starting stacks, yeah, man. This, I mean, this is what Hoda bases itself off of. Heroes 2. <laughs> Alright, now we hunt for the Barbarian Town, because this is the best town theme. And it's the victory theme! We have no resources. Oh, Maximus! And Barak! But it wasn't Barak! <laughs> it was Barack Lobster. Na, 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 na. And again, why are we sitting in here? Because we have to listen to all the town themes. And I guess I should probably explain because I took so much time to actually read the stuff for Heroes 1. There was once a man from Nantucket. So, as you can see, there are far more things to build in the castle now. Um, same tavern, thieves guild, mage guild, these all work the same way. It's actually the same, like, the knights have the same build out, except you can upgrade some of them, which is new from Heroes 1. <coughs> um, but they all cost roughly the same. In fact, I think they all cost the exact same, and require the exact same things that they needed before. Except the blacksmith needed a well the first time. There's a statue, which gives you more gold per turn, which helps. You have a marketplace, that's a big difference. And then each town also has its own unique stuff. So this one has fortifications to increase the toughness of the walls. <coughs> you can increase production of your level 1 units. <coughs> -da -da. You can have a captain's quarters for a resident hero to be there when no hero is for sieges. You can build turrets and moats for castle defenses. Truly an innovative game. <laughs> I 
Oh, Kevin is. <laughs> see, this is weird. Heroes 1, it actually made sense to look around the castles and <clears throat> see what everything did. I know what everything does in this game. I'm trying to explain it as if I don't know what everything does. Alright, there you go. Until the next time. And of course we have to get Maximus. The true bro. Oh, and also in this game, uh, yeah, you can block off the first spot. Because that's the thing. Also in this game, uh, heroes have secondary skills, so scouting, wisdom, you know, things to buff up the heroes, unlike Heroes 1. And no, I'm not explaining what they all do. Searching for the Barbarian Town. Oh, you can also split units in the same army, so we can make one stacks. Burma Shave. So it's already been a week? Damn. Did we not start on day one? Welcome to Ham 2, where estates is actually good. My liege, gold from our allies, spelled wrong, to aid us in our battle. <laughs> However, in this game, when you buy new heroes, they still all start out with extra army.
In this game, there's a combat grid, and you can actually see how far your units can move. <clears throat> but you still can't wait. The grid is far larger than the last one was, which is actually throwing me off a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> 69 experience. I don't know, more space. <coughs> Things close the same because balancing wasn't really a concept yet. Sure. Maximum is equal Stannis and Hunter? No, we just got them a lot in the Heroes 1 campaigns. The longer ones, too. Hey, Destins. Gotta love how you have to wait for the audio to finish to pick up the resources. Yeah, man. Look at where we started. <coughs> hey, Pudic. Welcome to the stream. Refuses to teach little viewers. That's not true. I'm doing far better of a job than I thought I would. Hey, Gornroth. It took me one day to complete Heroes 1. Why are you picking up the resources? You never picked them up in Han 1. I know. It's like there's a marketplace. Wow, Driftlord. Leaving at the start. Wow. Fake LOR. That's why I waited. I wanted to see if I had to. Hey, TB guy, welcome to the stream. <clears throat> yes, I'm too. Doing campaigns only? Yeah, campaigns only. If I did the scenarios, we would never finish Hom 1. Eventually, eventually, I would like to go back and do all the Heroes 2 single scenarios on Impossible Difficulty, but how about we just get. The hell was that? Oh, you know what? Now we have 39 rangers, so we can lead the what? Look at that thing I can't do in HOM 1. Unfortunately, pressing spacebar doesn't work, though. So I do it to move off the tile. Boom!
<laughs> now with our crusaders, we shall truly Deus Volt. Voitech. This is the tutorial. <laughs> the thing you can't do in Hamon. Yeah, 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 creatures can walk backwards. Look, I'll walk forward. And now I'll walk backwards. <laughs> hey, Jarza. Hey, Strobel. Put him down. Master Swordsman. Yep, Heroes 2 time. Already Heroes 2. Well, we finished Heroes 1 yesterday. There's only one campaign. Hmm. Sure, Shrubble. Sure. Hero chaining in Heroes 2 equals instant go. Hero chaining in every Heroes insta win. <coughs> yeah, we finished it yesterday. Told you, man, you went to sleep, you missed it. at me, bro. Not Alomar. Actually Rathmont. Yeah, we re reappeared. I was only gone for another hour. I told you I was coming back. Them. 
Can you give us a play-by-play of what you're doing, why you're doing it, and how it compares to 1 and 3? Then it'll be a real quality stream. I already did that! <laughs> I explained all the differences already. Or, the ones I could remember off the top of my head. Deus Vault! Deus Vault! Deus Vault! Deus Vault! Oh, that was it. It was right there. There are the barbs. Oh, I was supposed to do the griffins to get to them. Gotcha. Rothmont! It's time! Oh, I thought that was going to kill him. <clears throat> gotcha. Dragadoon! Dragadoon! We baited them out. So in this game, in the sieges, they don't pre-fire until their turn, just like Heroes 1. That changes in Heroes 3, well, they will fire as soon as the siege begins. And yellow player has been vanquished. Here's the warlock theme. See, how the captain's quarters. Important lesson from Mom too. Putting on blue clothes makes you better than putting on red clothes. Cursor grid makes the game so much easier. It makes the battles look a lot better, in my opinion. Are you recommending a crusade? Will you shall take Jerusalem? <laughs> Rangers OP. They lead the way. Hey, let's see over What game is this? I don't know, man. Wherever could you find that information on this stream? Where's my Fizzbin of Misfortune? It was in Heroes 1, actually. <laughs> Dipple. No. And a real opera singer! Yeah, man. Hey, Salva. <clears throat> we'll see over under on Heroes 2 time to completion. Five days, if I get to play. Four to five days? Not three weeks. <laughs> we're only doing the campaigns. Love the graphical change between 2 and 3. Hey, hey, hey. We're still like Heroes 1, though. Rams doing covers of Music's 1. Never. It's the castle that where you recruit the unit that wins you the game instantly. Not true. Titans can beat Black Dragons in this game. I meant three weeks, assuming one to two days a week. Week, to, yeah, it's the summer, and there's nothing else to do anymore in the summer. So, <laughs> damn it.
I should have clipped that kappa. That's why we're a thawning. Now, this game does have another awesome soundtrack that goes along with it. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to do the music change that you guys were talking about, so... We're listening to... This is the expansion. That when they made the Price of Loyalty expansion, they updated all the town themes. Just mysticism? Scout. I don't need that anymore. Well, I need more ore, but I'm not trading for it. <laughs> Days hold some more. Yeah. So in this game, it's actually not equally as as cost effective to upgrade things after you already have them, which is an interesting touch. Because in other games, like Heroes 3, it would be smarter. And not Heroes 1, because you didn't upgrade anything in Heroes 1. But in, say, Heroes 3, you know, you could just upgrade them and it would split the difference when you upgrade, when you pay for the upgrades. That's not the case in this game. So, for instance, going from Giants to Titans, just don't recruit the Giants. Hey Peter, well we left yesterday to go out for a drink, came back home, now already on Heroes 2. Yeah man, it's Heroes complete a thon, you never know what to expect. Don't worry, we're uploading all of them to YouTube, so if you missed anything, the VODs will be there. I can finish a quick demo of Hero of Might and Fire, but I can't finish all the maps. Hey man, that's on you. You had months to do it. <laughs> but Vest, if you get it done, I'll play it. You don't need to have it done at a specific time. I'm gonna do the evil campaign as well. Just No, we're doing both campaigns in this one. So in this game, there is a difference in the campaign, so I'll play all the campaigns. In Heroes 1, the only difference was you, one of the scenarios we would attack Lord Iron Fist instead of one of the other lords. Otherwise, it was the same campaign, just with different starting places. It's like doing the single scenarios as different colors. Like, it's... It's literally what it's like, so I'm not going to do that. Music selector script included with the game. Well, where is it? I'll go do that before we start the campaigns. <laughs> like, I'll play the other music. <laughs> and then just switch it back. So look, we have options. <laughs> So they're going to kill one of my crusaders, it looks like. Psych -na! Oh, nope, they got him. How unfortunate. Now the best theme in this game again goes to the Barbarian Town, but only the expan the expansion version of it. And the non-expansion theme is th for me it has to go to the Sorceress. -na 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 -na. Also in this game, you have a gate, <laughs> so people can get in and out of their own castles. We also have a moat. This doesn't do damage in this game. The moat doesn't start to do damage until... Got him. Until Heroes 3 Shadow of Death, which we are not at. I think we take extra damage standing in it. That's a risk we are willing to take. Summon boat is OP. 
summon boat is OP. Summon boat is OP. Summon boat is OP. Doesn't count. Hey, you can go find the other one then. Amazing thing. So this is the only change to music I've ever found. Also, yeah, you have the interfaces. We have MIDI. Which has no music. But it's still price of loyalty. And of course, let me do it with Opera. Deus Vault! Deus Vault! Yeah! Put him down! And this should be the end of this. And the end of the tutorial.
your heroes face palm and palm one? You couldn't see the heroes, they were intense. Yeah. Alright, so it's like 25 days, base score 165, difficulty 80, score 132. Oh, what? When do we get put on the high score chart? Lame. I mean, I get that I'm filling up that. Oh, no, I filled up the high score chart, that's what happened. <laughs> Music selector is outside of the game. Oh, that's lame. No, no, I'm three. I'm too dumb. <laughs> yeah. Also, I just want to point out, these cheater ones wasn't cheater. The maps were broken. Like, you couldn't enter town, so I had to go walk into the towns. Or, no, I didn't walk into the towns. I forced one it, because it was like, it, you couldn't, like, you had to capture a town, but what, how... Because they included player-made maps in the standard maps, and for whatever reason it wouldn't let me enter. Like, you couldn't enter the town to capture it. So, like, I just finished, like, killed everything on the map, and then that was it. Maps are right. I mean, the VODs are up on YouTube. You can go look it up. I checked, yeah. Alright, so new game, campaign, original expansion. The troubles all began three years ago, with the passing of the old king, Lord Iron Fist. The king left two sons. Roland was good, kindly, and honorable. While Archibald was not so good. Traditionally, the choice of the heir falls to the royal seer. But he died in a tragic boating accident. His successor's luck was no better. Unbiased storytelling. Frederick falling out of a window. Robert slain by a dragon, and Johan <laughs> dying of food poisoning. <laughs> Archibald accused Roland of murdering the Sears, and issued a proclamation against Roland. Fearing for his life, Roland fled the place for his castle in the west. With Roland gone, Archibald was able to influence the new royal Sears' decision. The seer chose Archibald, and Archibald crowned himself king the next day. And so the war for succession began. Drowned five meters from the land. I think he broke his neck on impact. Choose your lord. We're gonna play as Archibald first, because it's the uncanon version. And to answer a question I saw earlier, we're doing Thank you for choosing to serve We're doing S O D R O E A B, because we're going in order of timeline here. Which is more than I can say for the cowardly lords who refuse to take the oath from me. I am king. Hey, Freezing Fire. Roland. No one can stand before me and refuse to serve. Go. I have allocated Go. a sum of gold for the purpose of making an example of the lords closest to my castle. Crush them and report back to me by means of the magical amulet I have sent you. Now this one's awesome. Da -na -na -da. No, we'll be doing Chronicles after uh, Heroes 3. It's just because I'm using Heroes 3 to play them, so it'll just be easier. Alright. First Blood! Pog Champ! King Archibald requires you to defeat the three enemies in this region. They are not allied with one another, so they will spend most of their energy fighting amongst themselves. You will win when you own all of the enemy castles, and there are no more heroes left to fight. We either start with 2,000 gold, the Mage's Ring, or the Miner's Scroll. We're starting with gold, because gold is hard to come by in this game. You face three opponents in this scenario. Capture their castles and their heroes to prove your worthiness to Archibald. And we're the Necromancers. Yeah, like the first couple chronicles would have been already. <laughs> there only would have been four that we would have. St but no, because even the chronicles aren't in order. <laughs> The only ones that would have been different would have been 4 and 8. Because 
because it forced me to play as Necromancy. <laughs> Amazing. Alright. So unlike Heroes 3, in this game, who you have as the hero doesn't really matter, that's more an aesthetic choice. It's the hero types that do different things. Also thanks game for putting archers in front of my sawmill, that was, that was awesome. Wood for that, and that, and that. Okay, so we're trying to get to the mausoleum, obviously. Put them down! No! Slaughter them! Like a reset, nah, man. Anyone kind of the morale yesterday? Yeah, we got a lot after you left. <laughs> Hum two bone dragons are actually pretty good because Necromancer doesn't have a lot of options outside of it.
Yeah, I was trying not to lose on anybody. That gain of two. Here, there be dragons. Actually, it doesn't matter because they're the same speed. It's not that this combat speed is fast, but it looks so much faster in comparison. <laughs> Skeletons versus peasants, one for the ages. Well, we're listening to all the music as we go through this, so you guys have that to look forward to. Even when they don't look like Zora, they still die like pigs. Ouch, ouch. Also, this game will tell you how many hit points left your units have. That, that's a big improvement. <laughs> oh, one. Oh, negative one, I got you. Should have picked navigation there, clearly. 
Yeah, you gotta keep up the count from the last. Yeah, but sure. Well, hold on. No, no, no. Do it by game, because first of all, that count's not right. I got. A, there were a lot of morales after you left. Um. Okay, let's not get gangbanged by zombies. Also, uh, notice there are spell points now, not times you can cast the spell. Lightning bolt, the night is gonna get wrecked! <laughs> Grass theme is Craigasm, dude. All the themes are Craigasm. <laughs> well, do you want to separate your account? We keep on individual stats. All right, fine. Then keep it together. Hey, Carson. Roland <laughs> obviously can't you see all the peasants. Well, it's the uh, the Archibald campaign. Yeah, but here's the difference though. In HOM 1, the AI didn't have leadership. I did. So, it actually... The stats played out the way they were supposed to. Because I should have gotten it twice as many times. And I did. Also, in this game, there's necromancy. <laughs> Heroes 3 is the one I'm really going to be interested to see, though. That That's the one. That's the one I want to know. Also, this should be an interesting fight. They're slow. I wanted to bring liches into this fight, but I didn't. So sue me. Ooh. 
23s I'm not looking forward to here. Power 4, I believe these do 40 damage, which means these do 100. If these. And I can't get it by them anyway. Alright, though, 40 damage. Oh. Do that on purpose just to split them up. Oh, but I forgot. It's three. Whatever. <laughs> Ballistics. <laughs> Won't work, but I'll at least save my glitches somewhat before they get shredded. Which they will. It's inevitable in this game. Down <laughs> 2 equals 2 to 186. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I want to build the vampire. I'm not going to use him, I just want to build him. Yeah, I already built the skill. Mm-hmm. 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 Hey Dry, welcome to the stream. Welcome back, Drifler. When you at 7 p.m. here. Yeah. Started a little later today. And you guys are gonna love when I have to go AFK for about two hours. Later. Then I'll be back.
Interesting, and here was one when you said no to that, they, uh, disappeared. The artifact disappeared. Units with minus three defense when standing on a map. There you go. Now you know. Poor time for you to show up there, Mr. Knight. Poor time indeed. Or Miss Knight.
Haha. -ha. We decided over I'm just good at this game or if AI is just bad. I don't know, man. Difficulty levels present in this game. Yeah, it scales up in its own way, though. I can't switch them. Hello, TBI Phantomas. Welcome to the stream. Yep, it's all the Canon Heroes 3 games. It's an all campaign marathon. Ah, so we wouldn't be smart enough to do that. What else? <laughs> Rest in peace, Bone Dragon. Indeed. Oh. Wait a second. If that only did 50 damage, how'd I lose a lich? Oh. I'm dumb. Don't answer that. I thought that said 55. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> debated! We got him! 
Hey doga, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Shut up, Ivy. This game also has broken arrows from time to time. But it's pretty weird how it works, if I'm being completely honest. Orange player has been vanquished. Well, shit. Broken arrows, as in they don't. The arrows I. Sh blah, blah, blah. Broken arrows means that when they fire here, they could do full damage because it's a max arrow. Broken arrows indicates that that's not the case. They do half damage. So close to not losing. I'm not confused. But believe it or not, I do know how to play this game.
Surprise, motherfucker. See if I can beat him back with this guy. I don't want him killing the warlock. That works too. Charge! Get ghost, eat peasant. Yep, that, that about sums up the game right there. See, look, broken arrows, broken arrows, broken arrows. Blah. Ouchy, ouch. hit their head, it's still rebounded on my guys. So yes, in this game they do self-inflict. And new town. Dun. 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 Mm.
so they won't have to hear a sorceress. Ah, it's a throng. <laughs> Never mind. I really move far there, hold on. I really move far. Don't mix it up too much. I'm not hesitating. I, I very clearly said, uh, no thank you. I've tried long enough at this. It's not what it looks like on my screen. I'm done. You can listen to the music on your own time. I play it myself almost every time I stream this game anyway. I'm good. And as someone pointed out earlier, and I have to agree with this, I kind of like the expansion themes a little bit more. Just saying. I don't even want the mine that's right here, I just want to kill the peasants. They're coming! The sorceresses are coming! <laughs> They're mad. They're mad. Is rolling OP because he has OP monks? Nah. I'm pretty sure you get more. Yeah, no, I'm positive you get more OP in the evil campaign. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's a pretty shit mage kill, not gonna lie. So if this gets the mention I'm so sad. <laughs> Called it! Oh, it was... I think it was already GG. Darn. Whatever will I do? <laughs> DD equals faster, GG. Alright, that, 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 that one's fair. <laughs> Debated. <laughs> they had enough. Da -na 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 -na. Went back for the other twenty two elves. And here's the last one. <laughs> Alright, Shovel, you've inspired me. Now I'm hungry.
69 wood. Oh yeah. 39 gems. Oh yeah. Honestly, Menisk, the song reminded me of that speech too, but you gotta fix the, the title of it. It's a hell of a speech. Hey Alfonso, welcome to the stream. I like this version of it, and it's really good. I just, this is the one, though, that I kind of like the original one better. Hey, we're saying welcome to the stream. Uh, the VOD lengths are... That's when I had to cut the stream. We win. Excellent work, my good general. I think we've made an impression, don't you? The lords nearest us will certainly profess loyalty, although the more distant ones still waver. I think, however, we will require a second demonstration. In the frozen wastes to the north of us, the Krashaw region, are a number of barbarian tribes that my father did not bother to conquer. These barbarians can be powerful if organized, but fortunately, they never managed it. I'm sending you there to conquer and unify them. They will make excellent foot soldiers in our efforts to put down my brother's rebellion. Hey Lord Eric, welcome to the stream and thank you for the host. Hope your stream went well. And yeah, he's right. I mean, clearly, in all of the fighting we did, we never conquered those barbarians in Heroes 1. Definitely not. I don't remember going up into the snow and fighting barbarians for two hours at all. <laughs> Lord Eric! Hey Rush. I'll play Barbarian myself. Actually no, I'll go Necromancer and y you'll see why. <laughs> Barbarian Wars. You must unify the Barbarian Tribes of the North by conquering them. As in the previous mission, the enemy is not allied against you, but they have more resources at their disposal. You will win when you own all of the enemy castles, and there are no more heroes left to fight. Well-placed bribes have won you a stronghold near the Warring Barbarians. Be advised that given their proximity an unguarded castle is an open invitation to defeat. Oh yeah?
Barbarians in the snow, don't they dwell in the desert? Yeah, I mean, that was the map. You went through a giant desert, and then killed them in the snow. Alright, bring on the barbs. <laughs> Look at the working class man in the tavern, waiting to be recruited. Is it just me, or the heroes move very little in Heroes 2 compared to later games? Uh, we're just slower right now, but yeah, as TV cuts out, the maps are smaller. <laughs> so it is balanced around that. The desert theme is creepy as fuck. Well, it's not a desert. <laughs> Four genies, that means twelve wishes! You fuck genies, by the way. First wish, delete Hoda! <laughs> well, I don't know, I mean, Dave likes heroes too, so... You know, I don't think you'd have to give him that much. Yeah, we beat heroes on yesterday. It's only the one campaign, it didn't take that long. Oh! I thought it was just gonna be one stack. Well then. Damn it! They were smart enough. Just hoping they wouldn't realize the genies were the true threat. Dave needs competition. 
You finished your mother. Oh. <laughs> I know it always it always targets the most powerful units. Not the biggest. <sighs> Why do they turn around and shoot? Because in Heroes 1, none of them turned around. <laughs> <laughs> they do a 360 no scope. Right in here. No, oh, they took it. I was gonna use that one. This one. <laughs> um Oh we built it. But no no we have no money. Gotcha. Ah, uh, disrupting ray. 
One of the AI's favorite spells in this game. Oh! Well, that's not good. I shouldn't have done that. Rip all my trolls. Have the stack. They never actually harm the st have the stack when you want them to. It's a damn shame. Minus two feels like minus six. <laughs>